will be one of the ball handlers here. Full court pass there is a pitch all the way to Kalma. Kalma breaking away for the layup too. Beautiful assist pass coming from Wichita. Hello, kumusta po kayo and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I hope all of you are safe and healthy. Alam naman natin na uh, more than a year na itong pinagdadaanan nating pandemic. So let's continue to pray and follow the safety protocols para po makatulong naman tayo na mabawasan itong COVID cases dito sa ating bansa. Uh, I'm still hopeful na matatapos na po itong pandemic na to at babalik na tayo sa talagang normal. Hindi yung new normal. Talagang normal na buhay natin. So prayers lang po, kapit lang po tayo at maniwala tayo na ma-overcome natin lahat ito. So for the meantime, ang isi-share kong video sa inyo today is yung pong 1982 ABC Youth Championship na ginawa dito sa Manila laban po ng Philippines at saka ng Japan. This is kind of different o kind of rare uh, video kasi po hindi po ako naglaro dito. Uh, gusto ko lang mapanood nyo kaya ako po isinyer sa inyo itong game na to. So let's all watch this guys. Kay Dex, 3 points! So instead of uh, Louis Ville, whom uh, Ron Jacobs usually starts, we have uh, Jun Tan playing in his stead. Sakano getting that loose ball. Fujiwara rifles a pass all the way to Japan's Ishihara. Out to Yamashita, he averages 21 points a game. He overshoots, and there is a rebound by Wichiko. First Philippine offensive pass, Hector Kalma to Almario. His attempt bounces up, over and out. And there is a steal by Wichiko. He is really going great guns in the opening minutes of this game. The first game of the RP Youth Quintet in the championship round of six. The top teams that made it to the final round. A jumper by Juntan is a failure, and there is a tap all the way to Yamashita. 19 minutes, 15 seconds ago, Fujiwara with a long diagonal all the way to Ishihara. In the corner, Nakamura taps it back to Fujiwara. He's the center of the place of the Japanese youth squad. Ishihara sidestepping, blocked by Almario, recovery by Juntan. A Philippine fast break at Torcalma moves in. He fires from the 15-foot line and misses. Juntan gets a loose ball. We've been missing on those attempts. Missed about four shots already. Almario with a good fake. Now he banks one in. That's a higher percentage shot. And he has mastered that from that angle. He really has. One thing that we should notice about the Japanese team, although they're out of the running for the championships, they really they really came to play tonight. They've been defending well and they've been coming down. And we have not been scoring on our fast break because their defense is coming down. This is a far cry from their attitude when they met China yes. in the elimination round. 18 minutes and 20 seconds ago, a Japanese miss. Jun Tan with a layup. Yes! Beautiful pass by Hector Kalma. Also, Andy, I think our fast break won't work as well as it normally would without Bill. That's also true. Well, Hector Kalma, as long as he's running in the middle, my hopes are very high for the team. Ishihara finally hits the eyes for Japan. It's 4-2 now. A hit from the right flank. 18 minutes left. Hector Kalma watched by Fujiwara. The two playmakers pitted against each other. Almario marked by Ishihara. Juntan is left unmarked and he knocks one in. Juntan, one of the big surprises on the RP Youth team. He is very steady. 6-2. Philippines by four. 17 minutes, 40 seconds to go. Ishihara. Left side of the keyhole against Almario. Almario has one block against him. Sakano with a turnaround try. Not quite too long. Hector Kalma gets a bounce. Watches his flanks. Gives it to Juntan. Almario sidesteps. Goes up for the attempt. Rims out. The rebound to Ishihara. Down the right flank. It's Yamashita. Leading scorer for the Japanese. All the way to Ishihara for the jumper. Not quite. And there is a recovery by Kalma. He has a knack for being where the ball is going to bounce. The pass is deflected by Juntan. Got it. And the rebound is won by Sakano of Almario. Yamashita back to Fujiwara. Fujiwara with a jumper. An orthodox jumper by Fujiwara. And there is the whistle. Referees, by the way, are Ron Omori of the U.S. and R.C. Sharma of India. First foul going against the Philippine team. And we have a sideline throwing. This should be a well-officiated game. Ron Omori is a very good uh, referee, uh, Dick. Definitely and, uh, so. And he'll have proper control of the ball game. 
we have a front court throw in for Japan. Yamashita gives it to Ishihara, looping fast. Nakamura is open, but he missed, and he is guilty of warding off his man, Teddy Alfarero, with his left arm. And that means an offensive foul, and the gallery loved it. 16 minutes and 47 seconds to play. The Philippines with a four-point advantage. Chinese, Hector Calma. Chinese team watching from the sidelines together with their coaching staff. Almario to Alfarero. He fires and misses. The rebound. Almario follows up very quickly. Misses. Alfarero lost that loose ball. Fujiwara picks it up. It's three on two. Hector Calma confronts Ishihara. Ishihara misses. And it's Almario with a looping pass to Hector Calma. Calma with a behind the back dribble. What a move. Setting up Alfarero for the beautiful maneuver by Hector Calma. That's the way one should do those spectacular moves with a reason behind it. Yes, and Hector making up for his lack of height with the spectacular dribbling, uh, this progress. No? Hector Kalma may have twisted something. He is nursing his right foot. He has an Achilles heel injury and he must have put a lot of weight on that as he tried to pivot to keep up with Fujiwara earlier. He is limping slightly. He may have to be replaced. Ron Jacobs is looking at him with concern. He's saying, are you all right? And Hector Kalma says, okay, I can still last this game out. In the meantime, Shimomura is waiting to come in for Japan and he is standing by on the wings. Alfarero with a pass to Juntani is open momentarily, but his attempt is short. The battle for the rebound won by Wichiko, but there is a foul by Alfarero. Now Shimomura comes in. He replaces Sakano. No, it's Nakamura going out. Not Sakano. He remains in the game. Uh, Shimo Shimomura, like we were mentioning, is another good player, and they he loves to play in the inside, so Teddy Alfarero and Al or Almario must mark him well. They yeah, still have their work cut out for them. 15 minutes and 40 seconds to go. This is a young Japanese squad. Relatively inexperienced, but they can put up a good battle. Sakano converts. 8-6, the Philippines by only two. Ron Jacobs a little concerned. Calls on Derek Pomarin. He'll be reporting in short. He could be Probably coming in for Hector Calma. Yes, Hector must be hurt. Almario with a hit. 10-6, 15 minutes and 18 seconds ago. He's favoring his right foot. 15 minutes and 15 seconds ago. Fujiwara. Ishihara under the basket. Shimomura with an easy layup. Alfarero apologizing to the bench. Well, they should guard against that. Shimomura, like we mentioned, loves to play on the inside and he's very uh, effective from that area. Immediately, Ron Jacobs will be tapping in Mendoza. He's standing by on the wings. Almario misses. The ball bounces over to Shimomura. Cross court pass to Fujiwara. 14 minutes and 50 seconds to play. Alfarero with a beautiful steal. And a counter steal. No, not completed. Fujiwara coming in from behind is guilty of contact. That was spotted by referee Sharma. We have some substitutions. That's Pumarin and uh, Richard Mendoza replacing Alfarero and uh, Calma. Calma. It's understood why he replaced uh, uh, Hector Calma, but I think the reason why Mendoza is coming in for uh, Alfarero is so that he would mark Shimomura well. 14 minutes and 40 seconds ago, Mario fires, banks it in again. Off Ishihara that time. 12 8. There Mario, as usual, coming through with touch hits. There it is, uh, the matchup Mendoza against uh, Shimomura. That's right. Inside pass Ishihara crowded by Mario. He gets a shot up, but it's short. And there is Sakano under the basket, missing but getting fouled by Mendoza. That'll be three to make two, most likely for Sakano of Japan. In the meantime, we'd like to thank McDonald's for their wonderful sponsorship of the Asian Youth Basketball Conference. Sakano, number six for Japan. He averages 35% from the field after seven games in the elimination round. Connects his first shot. 12 to nine, Philippines on top by only three points. The second shot by Sakano. It's a miss, he'll take another one. For the Philippines, we have Almario, Tan, Pumaren, Mendoza, and Wichico. Sakano misses again. One out of three. Pumaren with a crouching dribble into the front court. Marked by Fujiwara. Almario has it. Ishihara assigned to him. There's a cut and a bounce pass. Wichiko with a beautifully suspended shot. He banked it in from the left flank. It's 14-9. 14 minutes left. 
Ishihara under the basket. He is open. Wait, Chico let him go past. Yes. Not even, not even raising his hands to try to uh, block the shot or to bother uh, Ishihara. Oh, Beautiful okay. drop pass by Jonathan and an easy hit. And you can see that the, the minute they give us this pass, the players point to each other like, thank you for that pass. You yes. know? That's the way really to play basketball. They acknowledge a gift from a fellow player. Yamashita from top of the keyhole. 16-13. They love to watch him. He's got a good jumper. The 13 minutes, 25 to go. He's playing an inspired ball game, Dick. Definitely so. They want to prove something tonight. And as we said, it was a far cry from their showing against China earlier. Jun Tan with another beautiful drop pass that Mendoza missed. The follow-up by Wichiko. He's playing very well. Jong Wichiko. 18-13, 13 minutes and 5 seconds ago. That was quick reflexes by Mendoza. He spotted Wichiko, had that rebound, and he let him go. Fujiwara crowded and fouled by Pumarin. In the meantime, we have Austria replacing Tan. Almerias replaces Almario. Ron Jacobs giving a lot of the players exposure in this ball game. And so far, he has used nine men. Very early so far in uh -huh. the contest. Only seven minutes gone by. Well, he realizes we have a fight on our hands. Though. Well, that proves one thing too, Andy, that we've got a pretty good bench. <laughs> 12 and 45 to go, it's 18-13, Japan shot wild, that is Fujiwarai, this is Austria now, the lookalike of Turo Valenzona, he gets the pass back, good pass, Mendoza misses again under the basket, there's a held ball between Mendoza and Shimomura, that's a second miss by Mendoza on a good, on a good assist pass coming from a teammate. He'll have to settle down, I think he's a little over anxious. That's exactly. A tap easily won by Shimomura, he tapped it to Sakano, 12 minutes and 25 seconds left. Nearing the halfway point in the first half, Philippines by 5, 18-13 against Japan. We haven't started pressing so far, it's still a man-to-man -man half court defense. Shimomura misses, easy rebound by Jong Wichiko. We're controlling the defensive boards. Wichiko takes a shot, makes it! He's noted. Yes, could be one of his nights, huh? Jong Yuchiko. 2013, 12 minutes to go. He's taking up the scoring slack while Mario is resting on the bench. 11 minutes, 50 seconds ago. Sakano gets away from his man, lays it in for two. Good move by Sakano, splitting the middle. 2015, the Philippines by only five. 11 and 45 to go. Pumarin distributing that leather. El Marias back to Pumarin. Pumarin with a jumper. A little long, it bounces up and it bounces over to Yamashita. 11 and a half to go, fast break for Japan. Shimomura with a layup, and there is a charge by Shimomura. The shot is nullified. Mendoza stood his ground. No, Pumarin stood his ground. He stands ahead shorter than Shimomura, and that took real guts. We've got the first timeout of the contest called with the Philippines enjoying a five-point advantage, 20 to Japan's 15, 11 and a half remaining. We'll be back in just a while. It'll be a backward throw-in for the RP Youth team. Hector Calma seems to have recovered. He'll be reporting in shortly together with Joan Tan. In the meantime, Derek Pumarin will be distributing the ball. Almario is back on the lineup. He just missed on a jumper and it's Fujiwara orchestrating a Japanese pass break. Interception by Almarez, but he traveled. That's a good call. He did travel. He took one step too many before commencing his dribble. Front court throw in for Japan. 11 minutes, 10 seconds to go. Fujiwara, watched by Pumarin. Austria is the backcourt partner of Pumarin. There is a layup. It's wild. Loose ball recovered by Austria. He looks the field over and gives a pass over to Elmer Reyes. Elmer Reyes pass. Goes out. It's outside for Japan. Another good call. Mario handled the ball last. That was a poor situation. Four on two. And actually, we should have had a layup. If it was Hector Kalma in the middle, he would not have stopped his dribble. There's a tap out by Sakano himself. And we have a turnover. Here come Hector Kalma and Jun Tan replacing Pumarin in Austria. A new backcourt pair. Although Elmer Reyes is up there with Hector Kalma. Jun Tan is on the forward line likewise. Only Kalma will be yeah. distributing. Only You only need one point guard anyway. And that is Jun Tan from the left corner. 
Now it's a seven point lead for the Philippines, 22 15, 10 and a half to go. Shimomura to Fujiwara. Fujiwara is the first general of Japan lead pass. Yamashita fires and it bounces out. Premature jump by Ishihara. Look at Hector Kama timing his jump perfectly. He gives it to Almario. Almario fires. Boza! And uh, Hector Kama waited for Almario. Out of the corner of his eye, we could see him timing his dribble so that Almario would be in perfect position for that pass. 24-15, a nine-pointer now for the Philippines. Biggest lead. Jumper by Yamashita. It trickled in. It caught the outer edge of the hoop. Hit the back glass. Hit the outer hoop again and sank. We can't seem to be able to pull away from this Japanese team yet. Eh? Slowly, it's being done. Good fake by Almario. He was off balance, but he fished for that foul. And Ishihara acknowledges it. It'll be three to make two for Alfie Almario. We'd like to express our gratitude to Coca-Cola, of course, Coca-Cola Butler's Philippines Incorporated for supporting the 7th Asian Youth Basketball Championship. 24-17, the Philippines on top by 7 points. Almario. Fresh shot is good. In the elimination round, Almario averages 53% from the field. Right now, he, right now he has 10 points, 3 rebounds and 2 assists in the ball game. Here's a full court press of the RPU team and a gallery response with an appreciative sound. They are expecting a lot of big things now to happen. Expecting a pull away. The jumper by Sakano. Short. And the loose ball is picked up by Mendoza. Mendoza to Jun Tan. 9 and 20 to go. Jun Tan gives it to Elmeres under the basket. And Almario follows up the two. Kama tried in one motion to make that an alley -oop pass. It almost went in, but Almario followed it up. Hector had the right idea, dude, Dick, because uh, you're playing against the bigger men. If you had bought that down, you might have been blocked. Right, but he moved very well without the ball that time. Put himself in perfect scoring position. Turnaround hit by Ishihara. 28-19, the Philippines by 9 points. 8 minutes and 50 seconds to go. Both teams have 14 fouls. Elmer Reyes routed, and there is contact on the play going against Shimomura. 3 to make 2 for Reyes. Takamura is reporting back for the Japanese squad replacing Sakano. I like the manner in which this official makes his call with a lot of authority, very decisive. Ron Omari. Yes. Incidentally, ever since Hector Kama was sent into the ball game uh, about two minutes ago, that, w that was his third assist pass. No? First shot by Elmer. Yes, good. Philippines on top now by 10 points, 29-19. With 18 47 to go in the first half. Second shot is good again. 11 point advantage for the Philippines. That would be the biggest lead. We had that earlier. Full court press again. Mendoza pressing Fujiwara. Over to Yamashita. Yamashita double team. Lateral pass to Ishihara. Ishihara double team likewise. Now Nakamura gives it to Fujiwara. Yamashita with a fake. He drives through and there's the whistle. We've got a foul by Elmer Reyes. Ron Jacobs is mad. He doesn't want those fouls. And he let that guy drive through the baseline. Right, he didn't like that one bit. Nobody to help him out there if that guy had gotten through. Inbound for Japan. No charities awarded, but that's a 15 foul for the Philippines as well as 15 fouls chalked up against Japan. Fujiwara to Ishihara. Ishihara fires, misses, and the loose ball goes to Jun Tan. We're timing it much better off the board. There's a finger roll layup by Hector Kalma. 32 to 19. Splitting the middle. That's the way we can pull away, you know, to employ our fast breaks. And like I said, if Hector is running that thing down the middle, you have a lot of confidence. He can really take off. <laughs> Eight minutes left in this first half. Japan is now feeling the pressure. They have not been able to score in their past three offensives. Jumper by Fujiwara rims out. And again, unmolested recovery by Hector Kalma. He moves into a crowded lane. Gives it to Almario. Almario is open. And he misses. It's Kalma again, getting the loose ball. Elmerius moving in, firing, and sneaking it in, not quite successfully. The loose ball picked up by Yamashita. Seven and a half to go. He's very shifty. Elmerius got a lot of class under that basket. Jumper by Yamashita. Again, out. And it's Hector Kalma going way up. Crouching dribble over to Almario. Almario travel. That's a good call. Almario took a step too many, and Ron Jacobs is not happy again with that move. 
Seven minutes and 18 seconds to go. Out goes Mendoza. In comes Al Alfarero. Ron Jacobs is certainly a tough task master, but that's the only way the boys will learn. And they're getting good basics drilled into them. And I think that is Yamashita. Yeah, Dick, and I think that's the only way we can win. You know, to be almost perfect in a game. Yes, what well, with that height disadvantage that we'll be playing against. Juntan crowded. He gets a shot up and in anyway. Yamashita was helpless. Yes, he just merely raised up his hands in an effort to try to um, to thwart uh, Juntan shot. 34 to 21, the Philippines by 13. Five to go. Fujiwara against Hector Calma. Ishihara, watched by Alma Reyes. He fades, yes, he makes it, using the glass. High percentage shot. Fujiwara shadowing Hector Calma. Six minutes and 18 seconds to go. It's 34 to 23. Calma splits the middle. The pass goes to Mendoza. Mendoza's attempt is short, very short, air ball attempt. He has been babying his shot. Fujiwara with a bounce pass to Yamashita, who jumps and converts. Two quick baskets by the Japanese five. The Philippines lead down to nine points. Six minutes left. The action has been pretty fast, pretty furious so far in this first half. With a good, strong stand by the Japanese youth team. Almario over to Reyes. A lot of movement and a miss under the basket by Kalma. It was a perfect pass from Elmer Reyes. But Kalma miscalculated. Fujiwara is left open and he banks it in. Well, Hector Kalma was left behind in that play and nobody picked up uh, Fujiwara, you know. They so should have been aware of that. Yes, somebody should have helped out. And right now the lead is only down to seven. Dick. Three straight hits by Japan with no reply from the Philippines. Five minutes and 20 seconds to go, just a seven-pointer. Elmer Reyes Oy. is guilty of traveling. He reacted immediately, but it was a little too late to prevent that violation from being spotted. And we have some substitutions. We have Alfarero, John Yuchico, and Austria Kasi. I was about to say Valenzona. <laughs> So the only two guys that were kept in the ball game were Hector Karma and uh, Alfi Almario. Sahara is in the game now for Japan. Bounce pass, Sahara. Moves out of the corner and there is a tap out outside for Japan. Five minutes and eight seconds ago, Wichiko is back on the lineup together with Alfarero and Austria. Fujiwara to Nakamura for a turnaround try. It's good and there is contact on the play going against Japan. Against, no, it looks like Alfarero was guilty of the foul, but it occurred after the shot was completed. So That's the a second foul by Alfarero. Yes, Dick, and so the Philippines has 16 fouls, 5 for Japan. 34 to 29, the Japanese creeping ever closer, 4 straight hits, and there is a clutch shot from, from Alfie Almario, who is turning out to be Mr. Clutch of the RPU team. He's done it a number of times in the past. 36 to 29, 4 minutes and 40 seconds to go. Fujiwara, watched closely by Kalva. Yuchiko picking up Sahara. Playing him pretty wide, all set to double team on the receiver. Sahara fires and rims out. It is Nakamura following up and missing. A rebound pulled down by Austria. Look at him go. Hector Kalma with a crouching dribble. Almost lost that ball. He gives it to Austria. Austria fires and backs it in. No, rather, Austria yes. is right. Yes, his back was towards us. 38 to 29. It's a nine-pointer again for the Philippines. And Fujiwara sets up the play for Japan. Sahara, right quarter court. The jumper by Yamashita. Bozal. Japanese shooting very well from the medium range. And they have never moved this well, Dick, in the games that we've seen them play. This is their best game, definitely. Three minutes and 50 seconds ago, Almario. Alfarero with a slight fade, it bounced out, sorry miss, but there was contact by Shimomura, it'll be three to make two for Teddy Alfarero. In the meantime, Milo, the Olympic energy drink is now the official energy drink of the 7th Asian Youth Basketball Championship. Go Milo! 38-31, Philippines on top by seven points with three and 46 to go in the first half. Teddy Alfarero. First shot is good. Alfarero averages 70% from the foul lane. Second one is a miss. He has three points in this ball game. This time it's good. 
40 to 31. It's a nine-point advantage for the RPU team against Japan. Our first assignment in the championship round. After this, we'll have two more against the Malaysians and the Chinese. Malaysians on Friday, Chinese on Sunday. Turnaround try and a miss by Shimomura. And there is Austria hooking that ball. Whistle blowing, traveling violation, going against Kalma. What? Was that a travel? That's a surprise. Ron Jacobs staring at in the Indian official in consternation. Three minutes and 24 seconds ago. We appreciate strict officiating, but not that strict. Shishihara with the jumper and the miss. It's pulled down by Al Ferrero. Luichiko, three minutes and five seconds ago. Luichiko on the front court. Almost lost the ball. He recovers it, taps it over to Austria. Austria cross court to Kalma Kalma. Back again. Luichiko with a fake. Now he fires and makes it. Good move by Jong Luichiko. He continues to be hot. Now this is his first attempt after being sent back into the ball game. Now it's an 11 point lead, 42 to 31. The Philippines replying with three straight hits. After the lead was reduced to just five. The jumper by Sahara is good. He got away from his man. But uh, you can see that the other guys came out to help, like Almario and uh, Alfarero. So still playing good defense. One thing about this team, they yell out if they need help. And that's what you need on court, communication, whether visual or vocal. Two minutes and 20 to go. The jumper by Alfarero rims out and it's a steal by Austria with a foul on the play oh. going against Austria. The gallery doesn't seem to agree with that. Austria was being nudged away from the path of that ball by his opponent. In any event, we've got a timeout with a count of 42-33 in favor of the Philippines. 2 and 17 left in the first half. We'll return in just a while. 2 minutes and 17 seconds to go. Ball game resumes. Japan in the offensive with Fujiwara crowded by Hector Kalma. The jumper by Nakamura. Yes, he was left by Teddy Alfarero for that open shot. That was a good setup by the Japanese team because of Chris Cross and there was a screen provided for him. That's why Teddy Alfarero could not pass the screen given by the Japanese. Couldn't come out in time. Austria to Uchiko, a minute and 53 seconds ago. Austria landing very well with this quintet on court. Alfarero to Kalma. Kalma setting up Austria for the jumper. A little long. The rebound battled for. It's Austria himself following up, offline and out. And there is a whistle. We've got a foul on the play going against Nakamura. Nakamura finally acknowledging the contact. It will be a sideline throw in. That will be the 17th foul for Japan. The Philippines likewise the 17th fouls. We've been stretched against Japan in this first half with a minute and a half to go. Our lead is just seven points. Alfaredo fires, but he is fouled in midair. Fouled by Ishihara. It will be three to make two for Teddy Alfaredo. In the meantime, call up Troubler's Car Service, the 7th Asian Youth Basketball Championship's official transportation service. Call up 881719. You can call Sita Sebastian Stewart. Yuntan has reported back to work. Uh, no foul shots given to us. Incredible. That is really surprising. That's the third call against us by the Indian official. Very clearly he was taking a shot. No doubt about that. He was up in the air. A minute and 20 seconds to go. The attempt was a failure by Tan, who was just reported in. Nakamura fires and converts. Now it's just a five-point advantage, 42 to 37. A minute and 10 seconds left. Philippines lead beleaguered now. Second time Japan is threatened. Tight defense by Japan. There's a pass to Uchiko. A bounce pass. And Jun Tan is fouled. Arm contact by Ishihara. Two foul shots for Juntan because the Japanese are already in penalty situation. Philippines on top by only five points in the ball game. Philippine Global Communications Incorporated, exclusive communications carrier for the 7th Asian Youth Basketball Championship. Welcome, number one in total communications. You know, the other thing that strikes me about this Philippine team today is a degree of lack of concentration and intensity. Uh -huh. 
A split by Juntan, it's 43 to 37. 55 seconds ago, Japan working the ball closer to the basket. Yamashita has it, long court over to Sakano. He dribbled on the foot of Juntan. Yamashita is open, switched on by Almario. Good switch on defense. No mismatch as a result. Yamashita moves off to the right, fires and makes it. 43 to 39. The Philippines lead cut down to just four with 32 seconds to go. We'll be playing the clock most likely, running it down before going for the hoop. Teddy Alfaredo has it. He pivots, gives it to Calma. Calma with the layup. The shot is in, and there is contact spotted on the play. You better count that shot. Let's find out if he'll <laughs> count it. This is the Indian official, R.C. Charma, who spotted that foul. Yes, it is counted. And it'll be a three-point play for Hector Calma. Sakara has just reported for Ishihara of Japan. No need for you to shout. <laughs> He's getting excited because uh, the Japanese are really giving us a good I fight. Think, yeah. And uh, Hector Kalman will take his shot with 20 ticks to go on the first half. It's good. Three-point play completed by Kalman. 46 to 39. 15 seconds left. The Japanese have an opportunity to hit the hoop before the end of halftime. Sahara for the bounce pass. The jumper by Yamashita blocked by Jun Tan. Uh, Yamashita gets it back, blocked again by Alfarero, and there is a whistle. We've got a foul on the play. It's Yamashita guilty of a charging foul. Good defense by the RPU team, and we have an RP timeout. We're on top, 46-39, 4.7 seconds left in the first half. We'll be back shortly. The front court, keeping the Japanese defenses guessing. Here's Hector Kalmo moving in. One second to go, and there is a whistle. We've got a foul anyway with three-tenths of a second to go. That'll mean two charities because Japan is in penalty trouble. The foul going against Fujiwara, the point guard of Japan. Two charities for Hector Kalma. You know, we're so prepared uh, so well because if the Japanese had pressed us, we'd have a guy scampering to the front court. But the Japanese was trying to play defense down, and so the Philippines had to go by another route. And they quickly switched. It was uh, that's very nice to see that uh, we're prepared for these uh, instances. Hector Kalma missing his first shot. Well needed shot. He has five points in the ball game. Second shot is good. He got a point out of that. 47 to 39. There goes the horn. Tune time once again at the Big Dome. This is the first day of the championship round featuring the top six teams from Group A and B in the seventh Asian Youth Basketball Championships. 47 to 39, the Philippines, Alfarero tapping it over to Calma. Philippines starting out with Richico, Alfarero, Calma, Almario, and Jun Tan. Calma moves in, fires, and the ball bounces out. A uh, recovery and a miss out of the basket by Almario. Loose ball to Ishihara. Fujiwara has it for Japan. Besides Fujiwara, we have Yamashita in possession. Over to Fujiwara again. Sakano has it. Nakamura and Ishihara complete the five for Japan. We've got a hit by Sakano. Sakano. 47 to 41. The Japanese coming closer now. Behind by just six. Almario over to Alfaredo. He turns around, fires, makes it. Let's find out if the shot is counted. There was contact on the play going against Nakamura. Pushing foul. And it's just a sideline throw-in, rules the engine official. And here comes John Jacobs, you can't believe it. <laughs> no, I think he's, he's thinking this is field hockey. Well, both uh, campuses had the chair of crawls. No, Hector Kalma. The Japanese-American referee has been doing well, but the Indian referees have not been uh, calling the game very properly, I feel. I feel. Sakano guilty of contact. That was referee Ron Amori who spotted at that time. 19 minutes, 13 seconds ago, the Philippines laid down to six points. Would have been eight. And that last shot of Alfarero, who was in a pivot, been counted. Could have been a three-point play. Yes, Dick. There's a layup and a miss by Kalma, and there's the whistle again. Foul by Alfarero. Kalma apologizes to the bench for that error. He considered it an error. Third foul by Alfarero, and he'll have to watch it. 19 minutes left. The Japanese behind by just six, and in the offensive, they've been very productive on their offensive plays. 
playing the percentages. They've matched our field goal percentages from the field uh, in the first half. Yes, 47-46. Doing even better than us. Fujiwara fires. And look at that. It hugged the outer rim and trickled in. It's 47-43, just a four-point lead for the Philippines. Turning out to be more exciting than we anticipated. Hector Calma to John Tan. Moves around. Lays up easily. Moves. He went right turned through. his back on him. He no. went right through the defense. No sweat at all. No switch by the Japanese team there. 49 to 43. Lack of concentration by Nakamura that time. Yamashita inside to Sakano. Sakano in the keyhole. There's a cut over the Yamashita. Yamashita fires and misses. There is the foul by Nakamura. Pushing foul. Good call. You know, although uh, Yamashita missed the shot, Jun Tan should have at least tried to harass him, you know, not give him that kind of a shot because Yamashita can hit those kind of shots. He averages 21 points so far in the eliminations. Nakamura has four fouls in the ballgame. Jun Tan is coming through. 51 to 43. 11 points for Jun Tan in the ballgame. 17 minutes and 55 seconds ago. Fujiwara against Kalma. Over to Yamashita, back to Fujiwara. Nakamura, back to Fujiwara. Fujiwara runs Sector Kalman to a pick. A traveling violation by Fujiwara for a turnover. 17 minutes and 41 seconds to go. Backward throw in for the Philippines. Eight point advantage for the RPU team. Encountering unexpected difficulty against the Japanese squad. Almario with a looping hit. He came off with a 6-0 blast after the lead had gone down to only four. Now it's 53 to 43. A 10 pointer for the Philippines. 17 minutes 18 seconds ago. We are defending Whoa. a little more cohesively now, but Alfarero commits foul number four. And he'll have to be replaced immediately. Mendoza comes in for Alfarero, who's been having some difficulty against Ishihara. And Shimamura comes in for Nakamura of Japan. Who will place a lot of pressure yes. in the pivot. Almario is in there. We're not moving as well in defense as we normally do, no? We're a little sluggish against right. the Japanese. Right. The jumper by Sakano is good. And it's 53 to 45. The Japanese have been keeping up with our pace. That's the reason we've been unable to pull away. There's a drive. Kalma splitting the middle for the hit. That's two points. <laughs> 55 to 45. 16 minutes 48 seconds to go. 10 point advantage again for the Aki Youth Squad. Fujiwara against Kalma. Fujiwara is very quick on his feet and Kalma has had his hands full with him. Shimomura at the high post to Ishihara. Blocked beautifully. Almario takes the ball away from him. And here comes Hector Kalma. Kalma with a weave. He sets up Mendoza who's wide open. Mendoza delivers. 57 to 45. Looks like we may have hit our stride. The usual stride that we normally have in the second and final half. That's one thing good about Hector Kalma. He never forces his shot. He always tries to find the open man. Mendoza helping him out there. Yamashita. There's a pick by Ishihara. Yamashita delivers. Good pick by Ishihara. But he got a strong tackle from Mendoza. Kalma with a head and shoulder fake. Again, he's wide open. 59 to 47. Kalma is penetrating straight down the middle. 15 minutes and 50 seconds ago. That seems to be the weak spot of the, of the Japanese defense. 15 and 42 to go. They've been so conscious of the flank shots. They've crowded the flanks. They've left the middle wide open. That's when Hector goes to work. Oh, baseline drive. Sakano misses. It's Mendoza pulling it down. Good pressure defense put on by Wichiko that time. Juntan over to Kalma. Kalma again lays up. Yes! That middle lane is wide open for Hector Kalma. 14-point lead. Hector has a hop along before he makes that layup. He can really spring up there. 15 minutes and 15 seconds to go. Sakano over to Yamashita. Yamashita loses the ball. It's picked up by Sakano. And if we put on the pressure now, we can blow this game now. You know, as, as long as we can prevent them from scoring. That's exactly what's been happening so far. Shimomura fires and it bounces out. Recovery by Kalma. 14 minutes, 50 seconds ago. The pressure is on. The Philippines exerting it over the tough Japanese squad. Give and go play. Mendoza block. It's taken away from him by Shimomura. Good defensive work by Shimomura. 14 minutes, 40 seconds ago. Yamashita fires. Sinks it. 
61-49. Kyoblis comes to the rescue of the Japanese team. Yes, Yamashita is proving that he can be a very consistent outside shooter. 14 and a half to go. Here comes Kalma, orchestrating the play. Mendoza has it to Almario. Inside pass. Turn around by Wichiko. Yes, 63 to 49. And we have a substitution for Japan together with a timeout. We'll return right after these reminders. For both teams, the Philippines doing 8 out of 12 for 67 percent. The Japanese 5 out of 9 for 55 percent. Much better even than the high percentage in the first yes. half. Both teams are playing good ball. Turnaround try by Shimomura is a failure. A tap, very good tap by Wichiko, recovered by Mendoza over to Juntan. Juntan playing the center now to Pumarin. They wait for their teammates to get into position. Lateral pass. A pass going over to Wichiko for the jumper. Straight and through. No doubt about that ball going in. 65 to 49. Wichiko is loaded tonight. Yes, I think I've only seen him miss once. Yes, he should be going for more of those open shots. 13 minutes and 38 seconds to go. In the ball game for Japan, we have Sato. He's a new player on the lineup. We haven't seen him play before. He's a guard also. I think he's out there to, uh, to mark Alfie Almario. Pomare gives it to Juntan, who drives in through the middle, lays a beautiful stretch by Juntan. 67 to 51, the Philippines now by 16, 13 minutes, 15 seconds to go. This is the uh, kind of layup that you only see come from Filipino players or NBA players. <laughs> Underscoring the versatility of the local cagers. 13 minutes left, Yamashita with a fake, he's double team. Juntan sticking to him like a leech. The fake by Sato. Over to Sakano, he's wide open, but he rimmed out. Loose ball, bouncing over to Wichiko. Wichiko looking the field over. Pumara into Almario. Mario moves in, lays it in for two. Good move. Terrific penetration. Another difficult drive by the Philippine team. And now we have a big 18-point lead. That's right. This could be the beginning of the end for the Japanese stand. 12 and a half to go. As usual, the Philippine quintet starting out very strong in the second half. Juntan crowding his man Yamashita. He's got an instruction to crowd and harass him. And we've got an interception. Not quite completed. Sakano gets it. Yamashita fires and converts. Oh. Juntan left him alone thinking that we had the ball. Yes. Well, he had the choice. And uh, Yamashita hit that one with only three seconds left on the shot clock. Yes. He deserved that basket. He really worked for it. Juntan fires, overshoots. Loose ball bouncing over to Wichiko. He turns around, fires it, trickles out. The rebound to Mendoza. He follows up. Tries again, and overshoots. Shimomura has it. too much power under that basket. The pass goes to Ishihara. Ishihara fails to convert. And there is a foul on the play. We've got another call by the Indian official. But the other official called it the other way. That's okay. right. We have Nakamura replacing Shimomura. No, both of the referees called the foul on Yuchi. Oh, they did. It'll be a front court throw in for Japan. 11 minutes 42 seconds to go. 16 point lead for the RPO team. Quick pass, Sakano with an easy basket. Wichiko unable to prevent him from that. 69 to 55, 14 point lead for the Philippines. Still unable to break the ball game wide open. Quick pass, Austria is in the lineup now. Pomarin setting up Wichiko, Wichiko fires, rims out. Easy rebound by Sakano of Japan. 11 minutes, 15 seconds to go. Sato moves in. Nobody to pass to his triple team. He passes out to Sakano. 11 minutes and 5 seconds left. Sato to Nakamura. He flips. Makes it. Clean hit by Nakamura. 69 to 57. The lead of the Philippines down to 12 points. 10 minutes and 55 seconds to go. A terrific stand against the RP team. Beautiful pass and a layup by Wichiko. Good setup by Pumarin. 71 to 57. 10 minutes and 35 seconds to go. Halfway point in the second half. Sato, right quarter court. Pumarin crowding him now. All the way to Ishihara. Ishihara against Mario. 
Sato moves in, fires, it's short. Rebound to Mendoza. Lead pass going to Austria. Austria looks to field over. Carney egging him to go for the hoop. He didn't. Back to Austria. Almario with a good fake. Now he fires, overshoots it. And the loose ball contested, won by Austria. He gives it to Mendoza. Second try for the Philippines in this offensive thrust. Almario fires again. This one bounces out again. And it's Austria again, battling for possession and winning out again. Look at him go. Look at the hustle of uh, Austria. Talk about intensity. And there is a deliberate foul, rules referee Omori. A deliberate foul by Austria committed on Yamashita. So it'll mean two charities because it's a deliberate foul. Yamashita will take two. Austria was pivoting and he came into contact with Yamashita for that foul. It was an instinctive reaction to a guy hustling for the ball. That's right. He was being crowded and harassed. Austria is now replaced. Coming back in is Hector Kalma. The charities will be given to Yamashita. And at this point, if you're having problems with your car muffler or exhaust system, contact Modalos for quick, efficient service. Modalos gives you fast installation service and quality products developed through constant research. And soon, Modalos will offer you galvanized mufflers, guaranteed to outlast ordinary mufflers. Drop by at Nodalos in Quezon City, Taft Avenue, Manila, Imelda Avenue, Makati, Sukat, Paranaque, Calocan, and Archbishop Reyes in Cebu City. Nodalos, for total satisfaction. We would also like to remind all our viewers that if you mix two simple ingredients, that's pineapple juice or beer with Smirnoff vodka, you surely enjoy the taste of something exciting. Remember the all-around mixer, Smirnoff vodka. It will leave you breathless. And the all-around shooter, Yamasita, with 20 points in the ball going now. Yes, our only trouble spot. <laughs> Nine minutes and 40 seconds to go at 71 to 59, the Philippines lead down to 12 points. Kalmai again orchestrating the offensive of the Philippines. Elmer Reyes is likewise in there. He fires off a screen and overshoots. Our shooting has been pretty bad from medium range. It's not as consistent as it used to be. Perhaps because of the pressure that we are feeling right now against the Japanese squad. Hector Kalma. You put it uh, in exact words, Dick. The pressure must be the difference right now. There's another rim out by June Town that time. Nine minutes and eight seconds ago. Japanese are not giving up. Even when we had an 18-point lead, they kept on fighting, and now it's down only to 12. This definitely is a surprise because the Japanese didn't put this tough a stand against the Chinese contempt. They folded up immediately. Yamashita missing out of the basket. It's Sakano. Sakano block. And there's a jump, a beautifully timed block by El Pareno. He took a gamble that time because he's playing with four fouls. And he forced a jump on Ishihara. There was no question that that was a block shot. No? And even Ishihara uh, was mad at himself for not having faked off Al Pareno. If you ask me, it could have been a traveling violation by Ishihara because he jumped with the ball and landed down with it. Uh -huh. Okay, the tap, easily won by Teddy Alfaredo. He tapped it over to Jun Tan. Tan to Almario. Almario fires. He hurried that shot. That's a poor shot. That he Almario. hurried it, yes. 8 and 35 to go. Now Japan has an opportunity to whittle down at this 12-point lead. Yamashita getting a screen. Doesn't go for the hoop. It's Sato driving through, and there's a whistle. We've got a foul on the play. Foul on Hector Kalma. Yes, a holding foul on Kalma. It'll be a front court throw in most likely. That'll be the fifth team foul by the Philippines against only three by Japan. Even on defense, the Japanese are outstanding tonight. Inside pass and a hit by Nakamura. Good assist pass coming from Ishihara. 71 to 61, the Japanese are coming back again. Behind by just 10 points after trailing by 18. Kalma's pass getting away from Almario for a turnover. The pressure is telling on the RP Quintet. Ishihara in the corner. Moving against Alfarero. He fires and rims out. A tip in. And there is a foul on the play. Going against Elmer Reyes. Is it is a pity because it was a three-on-one situation off the board that time. Mm -hmm. That's also our 16 foul as compared to only three for them. And we're only up by 10 points right now with Japanese having possession of the ball. Yamashita, he's been very accurate from the outside. Turnaround try and a 
Bounce out. Alfaredo getting the rebound. That was Ishihara. missed by Ishihara. 7.45 to go. Kalman out to Juntan. Elmer Reyes. Over to the cutting Juntan. Tan setting up Almario. Almario missing on a bank try. Under the basket it's Alfaredo with a good fake after an offensive recovery. And you know, he was on the left side of the basket and he came out from the right. Yes. Know? Very good uh, thought by Alfaredo there. 73 to 61. 7 minutes and 22 seconds ago. That's a clutch hit. It stopped the onslaught of the Japanese. The handoff. A drive and there's a whistle. We've got a foul on the play. An offensive foul by Sato <laughs> as he barreled his way against Jun Tan. And even that was questionable. <laughs> we have Sahara for the Japanese coming in and Fujiwara number four. Well, Jun Tan really played uh, a good uh, acting ability there. All the way, he kept on backing off and shouting. <laughs> That's right. But Sato really has that tendency to press against his man. He leans into his man. Seven minutes and ten seconds to go. That'll be the 14th foul against six by the Philippines. Japan still three team fouls away from landing in penalty trouble. A jumper by Kalma. Not quite. Ball bounces over to Fujiwara. Seven minutes left. Fujiwara directing operations for Japan. 12-point advantage for the Philippines. Not too comfortable at this point. Considering that the Chinese team beat this Japanese quintet by 70 points and limited them to just 44 points in 40 minutes of regulation play. There's a hit by Nakamura. 73 to 63. And they should really stick to Nakamura. He doesn't drive in too much, but he takes a lot of outside shots and he's been making them. Almario flips, makes it. 75 to 63. He needed that. He himself personally needed that basket after a little while. Yes, after missing a lot of shots. Huh? Yamashita inside to Sakano. Sakano crowded. And he got away but missed the shot. It's Alfaredo pulling it down, hanging on to it and giving it to Tan. Six minutes and five seconds to go. Tan to Almario. Almario fires and banks it in. No, it bounced out. Elmer Reyes follows up, rolls out. The ball goes out for a jump. Outside for a jump. Almario will be jumping against Nakamura. That call was a good break for the Philippines. Yes. Looked like Almario had tapped it out. Jump in the front court of the Philippines. The tap going over to Sakano. Won by Nakamura. Nakamura against Almario. He drives in. That looked like a traveling yes. violation, but it wasn't spotted. A tap out by Nakamura himself. Five minutes and 49 seconds to go. Instructions coming from the bench. Ron Jacobs yelling out the next play. Jun Tan has it. He fakes, fires, and misses. The tap. What a jump by Kalma. He gets it back from Elmer Reyes. The pass to Jun Tan. He sets up Elmer Reyes. Reyes fakes, fires, misses again. Under the basket, Alfarero loses the ball on a tap out by Fujiwara. He would have been in perfect position for a follow-up too. Before anything else, we have an RP timeout. We're on top, but only by 12 at 75 to 63. Five minutes, 23 seconds to play. We'll return shortly. And the socializing began. There was a party, an acquaintance party at the Philippine Plaza, and Zero was there. What did happen there, Zero? Could you, do you think it affected the brand of play of the Philippines and, and China tonight? Well, uh, talking about the party, actually, everybody uh, sort of uh, forgot for a while that uh, they were in a tournament and friendship was all around. But uh, I really didn't see anybody drinking a lot of, uh, you know what, that uh, uh, happenings were there, they were dancing and everything. Well, it looks like friendship is still in the air because the Philippines doesn't want to demolish Japan tonight. But we've got a hit by Elmer Reyes. Now it's a 14-point lead. There is a tap by Elmer Reyes from behind with a foul. Body contact by Elmer on Sakano. That'll be the 17th foul by the Philippines. One more team foul and we land in penalty trouble against only 14 fouls by Japan. Four minutes and 55 seconds left. The Japanese behind by just 14, putting up a surprising and stubborn stand against the RP Youth team, which has not really lived up to the expectations tonight of the great crowd out here. There's a hit by Yamashita. 77-65, four minutes and 35 seconds to go. Japanese 
displaying an extremely aggressive brand of offense and defense. Under the basket, the layup by Hector Calma, assisted by June Time. Well, Hector Calma has been getting the better of Fujiwara. He's much faster. There's a layup. Alfarero too late in preventing Ishihara. He had the momentum in that drives. 79 to 67, 4 minutes and 10 seconds to go. This is 12 point lead. Kalma lost that ball. It goes to Elmer Reyes. He fakes, fires, and it sinks. Okay, Elmer Reyes now getting the range. Uh, two baskets for him in the last minute. That Again. was a lucky shot, though. Oh, the there's a layup. And a miss. Sorry, miss by Nakamura. 81 to 67. Jacob, just 60 seconds terribly ago. mad. Yes. Kim, you were so slow in coming down in defense that time. Hector Kalma to the cutting Elmer Reyes. Reyes fires, banks it in. Elmer Reyes is exploding now with three straight hits. 83 to 67. Three minutes and 35 to go. We're getting the hits now from different hands on the Philippine squad. Defensive rebound by Elmer Reyes with a foul on the play going against Reyes himself, spotted by the Indian official. He was just passing that ball. <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> yeah, Ron was asking, what did you do? He was passing that ball and the referee called a foul on him. That's a fourth foul on Elmer Reyes. Three minutes and 25 seconds left in this contest. We've got a timeout. The Japanese have already used their two timeouts and the Philippines still has one timeout to go with three minutes and 25 seconds left in the ball game. There's the inbound Nakamura. Is blocked and fouled from behind by Almario. He had better position on that inbound play. Closer to the basket than Almario. This will be three to make two for Nakamura. And at this point, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Byron, Extasel, Milo, Traveler's Car Service, Coca-Cola, and of course, the official ball for basketball for uh, the 7th Asian News, Mikasa BL 100. 100. Yes. <laughs> And of course, there's a fantastic place called Peter Ray at the Sandbar Plaza, right at the back of the Makati Cinema Square. They've got good food, relaxing music. Check this out. A miss on the third try, and Almario snaps up the rebound. 83 to 60 at the Philippines by 15. Full court press by the Japanese, three minutes and 12 seconds ago. Elmer Reyes against Ishihara. Reyes moves in. Philippines should be able to get the better of the Japanese on this full court press. Jun Tan moving, giving it to Elmer Reyes. Reyes fires. Not quite. A rebound to Yamashita. Yamashita harassed, getting away from Elmer Reyes. Forward pitch. Ishihara is open. He banks it, and it sinks. 83 to 70. The Philippine lead down to just 13. 2 and 45 to go. Here comes Kalma, outspeeding Fujiwara into the front court. Wisely making use of the clock right now. We're running the clock down. 17 seconds left. Elmer Reyes has it. Kalma moving in against Fujiwara. Beautiful pass for the cutting Elmer Reyes. In the 11th assist of Hector Kalma in the ball game. He averages nine so far in this tournament. He's outdone himself. Two minutes and 15 seconds ago, lead pass to Yamashita for the flip. Yes. Poor defense there. Man was wide open. We've got Wichiko coming back into the fold. And a timeout, that's a final timeout of the ball game, is requested by Ron Jacobs. 85-72 for the Philippines. We'll return in just a while. We'll be one of the ball handlers here. Full court press. There is a pitch all the way to Kalma. Kalma breaking away for the layup too. Beautiful assist pass coming from Wichiko. Gee, how high Hector sold up in for that uh, layup. The last two minutes is brought to you by Adidas, a division of Rubber World Philippines Incorporated. A hit, a hit by Sato, who is back on the lineup. A minute and 50 seconds ago, 87 to 74. Full court press by Japan, Kawauchi pressing Elmer Reyes. A minute and 40 to go. The pitch almost intercepted. Jun Tan has it to Kalma. Back to Jun Tan. They're running down the clock. Jun Tan on a four corners play. He's double teamed. And crowded, and there is the foul. The foul going against Japan's Takenaka. Well, the Japanese are still far away from penalty situation, and they can continue try to press, try to pull off for the steals, because there won't be two shots for the Philippines anyway. It'll be a front court throw in for the Philippines. There's a break by Kalma. Kalma moving in, passing out again to Tan. A minute and 25 seconds ago, Wichiko pressed. He gives it to Kalma, who's open. Kalma. 
Reyes, with Chico, and they move out again to the long court. They're running rings around this full court press of Japan. The Philippines showing what kind of ball handers we have. Almario fires, misses, and we took on able to save it at the sideline. 65 seconds to go. Japan now has an opportunity to whittle down at this 13-point lead. Sato drives, and there's a traveling violation. Good call. Him. He lost his footing for a while. We have a turnover. 61 seconds to go. The full court press again by Japan. Watch somebody streak over. It could be Kalma again. Wichiko has it. Yes. There it is. Kalma again streaking over and laying it in for two. Kalma and Elmer Reyes ran over to the front court and broke away from their men. 50 seconds to go. A lot of spectacle out here in the closing minutes. Japan misses. Beautiful recovery by Almario. Almario crowded. Oh, it hit the hoop, and Almario recovers it, gives it to Junsan. He almost got a basket for Japan. There is the whistle. We've got a charge by Junsan. He rammed into Koya. At least a little excitement of the crowd is enjoying this final two minutes. They it's certainly are. It's been an exciting ball game the whole Yes, it has been. 89 to 74. The jumper by Furukawa is too strong. Recovery made by Kalma. And whenever he has a ball, you have the confidence that he'll hold on to that ball. Juntan with the drop pass on Mario. 16 seconds left. 15-point advantage for the Philippines. We've got our first win in the championship round. Although we went into it with two victories carried over from the eliminations. There's our cut. Elmer Reyes setting up Almario for the easy layup with a second left. And there goes the final horn. The Philippines winning by 17 points. A beautiful wind-up to a beautiful contest. And we must commend the, Japan, the Japanese youth quintet for putting up such a strong stand. So, panalo tayo dito sa game na to. 91 to 74. Medyo easy win for us. At uh, ang importante po dito, eh, di, nag-champion tayo dito sa tournament na to. Uh, nakalaban natin ang China sa finals at saka na-regain natin yung championship sa kanila. na dethrone kasi nila tayo noong 1980 eh. Kaya napaka sarap nitong panalo na ito na dito pa ginawa sa Pilipinas. Uh, kung mapapansin nyo, ang core po nitong team that time eh mga members po ng De La Salle team uh, the late Alfie Almario at saka uh, Teddy Alfarero Andiyan din po si Coach Jong Yuchiko, uh, si Jun Tan, coach na rin siya sa, sa Bisaya, sa Cebu. Of course, nandiyan din si Manong Derek Pumarin. Sila po yung talagang nucleus ng team. Tapos syempre, andiyan si Hector Calma at si uh, Elmer Reyes na we considered na veteran na dyan sa team na yan that time. Andiyan din po si Coach Leo Austria. Kaya napaka ano eh, sarap reminis yung mga ganyang games uh, kaya ako po na-share sa inyo kahit po hindi pa ako member ng youth team eh, memorable sa akin to bilang Filipino na narigay natin yung championship uh, kami po kasi ni Samboy ay nandun pa sa mas lower level ng international tournament na time yung po kasi yan school youth na nag-champion din po kami ang coach namin nun is si coach Larry Albano at ang assistant niya si coach Jody pa so, nandun po kami, one lower rank kami uh, sa kanila. Kasi ang goal po kasi ng bawat player nung araw is to be a member of the national team. So, yan po yung stepping stone. Say, school youth, RP youth, and then yung RP men's team. Ang nangyari po sa akin, hindi po ako nakaabot ng RP youth. Diretso na po ako kagad sa RP men's after the say, school youth. Kaya, if there's any regret, oh, medyo pinanghihinayangan ko na, na hindi po ako naging member ng RP Youth Team. But, okay na rin po. Kahit na paano, eh, nakapag-contribute naman tayo, naka, nakapag-bigay uh, tayo ng karangalan sa ating bansa. Kaya, if, if there's any consolation, yun na po yun. Kaya, Masaya-masaya ako na i-share sa inyo to dahil rare video ito mga ganito eh na kung paano natin uh, yung mga trials, yung mga 
uh, pinagdaanan ng bawat players na ngayon po ay mga coaches na, di po ba? So, sana nag-enjoy kayo and uh, continue to support this channel. Uh, marami pa po akong maishishare sa inyo ng mga games doon sa mga aspiring coaches dyan, aspiring players. Makakapulot po tayo dito sa mga games na to ng mga techniques, ng tips, at saka ng mga strategies. Kaya, continue to ano to support this channel at uh, mabibigyan ko pa kayo ng mga magaganda pa pong uh, uh, videos na may share ko sa inyo. So, maraming maraming salamat po and I hope to see you sa next one.